And now it's just like we really need to get these things in order yeah. because now the U.S. men's national team have a top tier head coach. And I and I get there might be people on here being like, well, hold up, hold up. Pochettino, he couldn't win in the Premier League. He blah 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 blah. Yeah. He never really won a lot. He won at PSG, and but who who can't win at PSG? <laughs> uh, you're gonna hear a lot of that. But this is without a doubt the the, the biggest hire the U.S. men's national team have ever had in their history. There's usually never uh, a, a coach that is sought after by every club in the world, offered tons and tons of money, uh, who chooses to represent uh, the U.S. Uh, men's national team. So where I don't even know exactly. What, I don't even know what I'm asking you, but how do you feel, bro? Uh, here's the question, and I'll give you the answer. If you, you are a patriot, if you start buying paper products now, so you could shred them and throw them out windows <laughs> in two years when Thank the U.S. You. wins the World Cup <laughs> undefeated, doesn't concede a goal. Times Square apparently starts a road to California. The parade goes through the whole country. <laughs> You're welcome, Fort Wayne, Indiana. You're welcome, Des Moines, Iowa. Hey, it's coming to a theater near you. Yahoo, you increase the paper shredder budget. Yeah, yeah. get that paper shredding so you can throw it out the windows. <laughs> Try and keep all personal financial information information off those papers as well. Yeah, because a lot of people, happens. you know, weirdos really try to piece glue the yeah. things together and it's not great. So yeah. <laughs> it's not great. So yeah, I agree with you. That's where we are headed. Uh it's exciting. I think for if you're a fan of this team, the first exciting thing is that something's done. Mm -hmm. Like flux doesn't help anyone. The with especially with a national team, the time is so little that you can get groups together. I, I think the US has a friendly in September here in New York. Yeah. Um, September 7th or 8th or something. So like, why are you going to keep wasting camps? Why are you going to keep wasting time? So I think having something done is exciting. Clearly, there's excitement about the profile of who was hired, as you mentioned, um, where he stands internationally, uh, the sign it shows of the Federation trying to be competitive and make this attempt um, and shift things. And I think the acknowledgement of like 2026 is special. It's it's hard to say it's once in a lifetime because 94 and like 99. Right, and right. Like, I'm sure 2031 is going to be a women's world cup. It, so it's not once in a lifetime, but it is the clearest way for the sport to take another jump in this country. And it's the closest that this team's going to have. To, it's going to be the quote unquote easiest path. This team's going to have to winning something right at that level, because they're going to be hosts. They're going to be able to choose. They already chose where they're going to play their first game. I think Greg Berhalter chose that. So I wonder if Pochettino comes in and goes, dude, LA's trash. <laughs> Get this game out of here. And FIFA's like, you already put it in. And he's like, that wasn't me. Um, it, so I think all of that. Uh, so I, I, th I think the combination of sigh of relief and excitement sort of creates this groundswell that we're feeling today of like, holy crap. Yeah, and I'll, I'll also add, I think both of those things are valid uh, 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 things that, you know, that we can be excited about. But then the other one is also, there's a little bit of like, I think other countries and maybe even other clubs might be a little bit jealous yeah. of like, oh, he picked her. Yeah, you know, like what? What? We what? look good today. Yeah, <laughs> we glammed up. I didn't know, you know, because I knew her back in high school. Yeah. And she wasn't all that. Yeah. and now but then took the glasses <laughs> off. And Mauricio Pochettino was like, whoa. Okay, I didn't know. I wasn't familiar with your game. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay, <Yeah. laughs> that's a uh, that's kind of an exciting part because you know Pochettino, if he takes the England job, yeah. which is also vacant, I think everybody's like, okay, this yeah. is a step up. Uh, uh, from Southgate, and, yeah. and I think people would be a little underwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. But I think everyone will be underwhelmed by whoever takes the England job, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So probably not a Pochettino thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think this is a, um, yeah, just f from the U.S.'s perspective, this is just a um, the fact that you know I, I don't know what. Matt Crocker said, yeah. uh, I don't know exactly what, I know that they had, uh, they worked together in Southampton. So uh, clearly there was a, a, a relationship, but this for, for one to uh, convince him to, to take the role, just to, even for him to, for Pochettino to see it as a potential uh, uh, place where he could t like take his career. This, this is one of the, uh, one of the most landmark, I think things to just help uh, compete not even just compete on the field, but just from even a business perspective. This feels like a a, a stronger business move than yeah. it does a like a footballing move, like sort of on the field. Because uh, Pochettino, I think uh, you know, watching him um, at watching him at Tottenham, watching him at, at, at Chelsea, 
he the, not the, watching PSG because Farmers League, whoever puts that I, on. <laughs> but I, I did go. But four times a year in Champions League. I was I was <laughs> I was at um, uh, Messi's first game at Parc de Prince nice. and and. Oh, look at this flex. So I was there. Well, Alexis, we, we did go. Leo just invited you guys? <laughs> Imagine. No, we literally bought tickets to the game prior because we thought he might play oh, in that oh, one. Nice. And we were like, oh, no, now we've lost, uh, you know, $200. Nice. <laughs> so it wasn't as, as that fancy. But we did go. And Messi's, you know, debut uh, for PSG. And what does Pochettino do? Subs him out after, I think, like 65 minutes, 70 minutes. And Messi's like... <laughs> Bro, you do do you know who I am? Like this is not you don't do this to me. And he was clearly like upset. And it's and so controversy kind of follows yeah. uh, uh, Pochettino a little bit. And and it's usually it's never necessarily for like um, bad sort no, of footballing think, decisions per I se. I think he's a little bit honest. So sometimes that comes out a little blunt. Yeah, in his comments off field or to not as much to players. I think more like in press conferences and whatever. Um, I think there's also like an issue with rings culture. I believe we're sitting with Tottenham fans right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what Pochettino did was historic, but the expectation is you have to win everything. Yeah. But like being competitive the way he was, was a massive step up for the club. He also did it with his hands tied behind his back. It wasn't like, oh yeah, Tottenham made a decision that they were going to spend $500 million in a window. And then Pochettino had to win with it. He continued to push players through who were academy players yep. who had been sent out on loan that they brought back in. Like he did a lot of things to build that up. And then everyone shows up later and they're like, bro, you went to the Champions League final. Why didn't you win? It's yeah. like, say that two years before <laughs> he went to the Champions right, League right. final. <laughs> and then PSG the same, which is like, it's a no win situation. You're stuck. If you don't win the Champions League, you failed. Exactly. And Chelsea's a mess. And so his resume is not flawless and it is not perfect. And he doesn't seem to care about it, but he does make comments when people ask him things where he's pretty blunt. And so there is like a little bit of edge to him, yeah. which I think is great. I think so too. I, I think there's a, um, a, there's a, like not only the, just the, the, the pedigree, but there's a, there's a little bit of, I don't even know if it's like, it's not messiness, but there, there's a, uh, 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 like a, a confidence that, of like, I think that what you just meant, he sort of is able to, Finds he can make not that makes something out of nothing, yeah. but he he can take a little bit of disorder. Yeah, and I was like, all right, like especially with Chelsea last season, which just like you with the 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 media scrutiny of how poor the team is, the amount of money that 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 they spend, and he's like, all right, th yeah, this is where. This is where we are. This is what this team is, and 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 just to navigate the media through it, and and from a business perspective, and and I'm sure he has to deal with stuff with the front office, and 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 then working with the players. I, I I'm excited about almost like that part. I yeah. almost want him to be a bigger um, ambassador mm -hmm. for the game, and the fact that he obviously uh, speaks Spanish, he's gonna be. He's going to be on, uh, um, uh, who, uh, is it uh, Telemundo who does the, yeah, right, has so. the rights yeah. for U.S. soccer? Yeah. Like, he's going to be on there a right. lot and, and really kind of um, representing what yes. the, this national team, like, 